Welcome back to my channel, it's Mimi Tarachini. So today's reading is going to be a pick a poll in regards to how your person of interest first felt when they met you. So what was their first impressions, how did you draw them in, how did they read your energy, what was their initial thoughts, feelings and intentions around the start of this connection. And then we'll see if there's any um, current energies to tap into and see where we go from there. Okay, so please remember that these are general readings. They will not resonate for everybody. Take what does and leave what doesn't. If you'd like to book a more personal reading below, you can find the link to my website or my Etsy store, as well as Instagram below. Okay, so we're gonna split into three piles. So pile one is gonna be this big red heart. Pile two is going to be the gold cherub. And pile three is going to be the little white cherub. Okay, so let's get started with pile one with the big red heart. Okay, so for those of you who chose this pile, let's have a look and see how your person felt upon first meeting you. I'm seeing the colour blue. I don't know if that was if that could be like a nickname for someone as well, or that could have some sort of um it's holding weight to it is what I'm being told. Okay, so it means something. We have the monkey experience all that life has to offer, and we have the hedgehog be a magnet for light, love and joy. Very strong energy, it's very playful, very sweet. Okay, this is like energy very pretty very feminine okay we have the butterfly be ready to transform with wisdom um, okay I'm getting loads of messages for this pile straight out the gate this person was very drawn to the way like if I feel as though there's something about the way that you put yourself together like they will remember this outfit or the way that you looked to this day um, and I'm also seeing if you met in like a public place, I know it sounds a bit cheesy but it's almost like you stood out to them and everything else like blurred out or faded away, it's like all they could see was you and I'm also getting that this person become like addicted to your love. There's like a very, you might have met this person when you were quite young or you might have a history because there feels like a very playful like teenage quality to this we have all tied up so i'm also getting that this person may have found you to be quite shy but it's like a very sweet very endearing almost like you're a little mouse okay we've got the angel of love so very warm very nurturing very kind is what i'm hearing and we have man holding a heart i'm straight away getting a dynamic of like a super confident masculine energy and a super feminine um soft energy polarity okay um oh, i feel like this is oh i knew it i knew it i was thinking don't say it straight away because just don't like it always has to be surrounding this connection but we can't deny it i was gonna say there's like a twin flamey energy past life connection and we've literally got the yin yang so you are two halves of the same soul pretty much okay <clears throat> I feel like you was more seriously looking for love than this person was like this person could have been a bit of a I don't want to say a Lothario but like a little bit of a playboy a playgirl whatever suits but there's this energy of like this person may have initially like chatted to chatted to you as in like a carefree sexual you know like a light-hearted connection but you awoken something else within them you definitely awoken this person okay we've got the chariot so <clears throat> it's like even though they saw this very angelic soft side to you there's like this glint in your eye that has always told them there's 
there's more to you. There's like this angel devil dynamic, and I am getting um very much a past life connection. You could have almost like there's a lot of passion and a lot of intensity, and I feel like things could have escalated quite quickly, whether that was um like kissing really quickly or get into other stages very quickly but it's, it's a connection that moved forward extremely fast okay very 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 fast yeah the emperor we have the ten of wands i feel like this person's never really divulged just how attracted to you that they were i almost feel like upon first meeting this person and i feel for some of you this could have been like online dating or you met on an online platform because it feels like the first like you've gone to a place to purposely meet this person does that make sense for some of you it could be a blind date i'm hearing but i feel as though you walked away from this date thinking this person is not interested in me like they're so sexy so hot so much charisma so much going for them and i'm like this little shrinking violet but this person saw right through you they saw you for who you really are and this is a side of you that you don't show to everyone. This is very sweet. Queen of Swords. So, energies we've got on the board so far. Libra, Aries, um, Ch Cancer. I was going to say Chariot. Someone's name could be Chelsea or there could be a link to a place called Chelsea. Um, whether this is in London or... Someone definitely... I feel like you came away from this date feeling sad that like you were really interested in this person and you just found them to be only wanting you for one thing because I keep getting ties back to you thinking it was just purely sexual and being upset about it you wanted more from this than than they did but I'm seeing as time went on this person realized that you meant more to them than they'd initially initially meant for you too it's that age-old thing of like having a list of everything you want in someone and then you've just blown into this person's life and set their soul on fire and I keep getting links to like your bum <laughs> like this person likes to w watch you walk away or they like to look at your bum like I'm hearing you set this person's heart rate heart rating <laughs> can't get my words out I feel like it's also a connection that has developed over time and I'm getting someone could have like some thick little thighs that like this person really loves your figure, loves your body, whether that is that you're curvy or you're athletic, there's something about like they want to grab you. This person is also very or was very attracted to your morals but they felt like you held back. I feel as though your energy was nervous around them and this triggered them into not knowing where they stood so it's very much a mirroring energy here coming through i'm just hearing something about a black bra as well that this is very um very sexual but yeah king of cups they hid their feelings from you this person is very they have a lot of layers okay and i think you both felt really conflicted as to how to navigate this situation this person could have actually thought that you were maybe a little bit promiscuous so it's like how you felt about them was exactly how they felt about you you both had this really deep sort of soulful spiritual connection going on but were both completely oblivious to how the other person was feeling so you ended up both feeling a little bit down in the dumps i'm hearing that this person has followed you everywhere whether they've kept tabs on you online or whether you just feel like you can't shift them. But it's like they won't commit, but they won't leave you alone either. I'm hearing like you put a spring in their step. Hmm. You are this person's like dream. Like I'm literally hearing like you are my dream. And this person just sees you as such an angelic being and such a being of light and love and peace and I feel that there's something here about you keeping them level-headed and sometimes you put them in their pa in their place and I feel like they pout about it and they're not very happy when you do stand your ground but then they like low-key are really turned on by it yeah the empress that's exactly how they see you Libra Taurus Sagittarius energy 
this person just sees you as like a complete cut above the rest like I'm getting something to do with silk as well as though like I'm seeing someone comparing materials this is crazy but I'm literally being shown a visual of one hand holding like burlap which is oh okay right one hand holding burlap and I was about to say it's like rough it's you know a bit stiff and a bit rigid and then you've got you which is like the luxurious beautiful soft silk um and it's like this is this person and the silk is you and it's like we're two we're from two completely different worlds like this is never going to work he or she is a cut above the rest but you've literally both looked into each other's lives yeah I feel like this is going to be quite specific. <clears throat> Getting for some of you, you could have like hazel eyes as well. Almond shaped eyes. And someone's got really long bottom eyelashes. We've got the four of wands here. Typical. This is a twin flame situation. Six of cups. As we started off with. Past life, soulmate, twin flame connection. Okay. How is this feeling, person feeling about you currently? They're still latching on. I feel like they try to, they try their best to, sort of like they watch you, but they keep you at an arm's length, okay? I feel like this person's dealing with some sort of chaotic energy in their life. If they have been dealing with other people, or if they were in the past, I feel like they're cutting this out. I feel like they're getting rid of their options, like, this person has enjoyed keeping options in the past. I'm not even going to lie to you, but it's like now it's you that they want. It's you who they see, like, a happy ending with. But I feel like this person is up to something. Maybe they're planning their approach to come back towards you, or... They definitely still think about, like, your body, your figure, okay? We have the death card. Well, we do have the death card and the world. But then we have the three of cups. It's like you think something's over and then it's being revived. I'm not going to lie, I was worried with like the world and the death card because that would signify an ending. But I feel like there's an ending of a cycle for the two of you to come back together. But I feel like when you do, there needs to just be more playful, light-hearted energy more flirtatious energy because you really could have it all with this person but like let's wipe the slate clean because yeah this is amazing there is love here and you know this already you're just like waiting for your happy ending basically lovely reading someone could drink with like their little finger out or there's something about holding a drink I don't know what that means. Maybe you went for drinks on a first date or something. And this is something they remember about you. Okay, we have engagement ring. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion and union. We have the snake. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder and the other woman. I feel like you've put your foot down with this person and you're not going to be the third party. You're not going to be the other man or the other woman. We have not today, not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call, person, boundaries and still angry. And then we have sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception and focusing out. <clears throat> we have deception. Someone is wearing a full self mask in this relationship. I feel like it's both of you. You're both hiding, you're both scared. Past life relationship, you've known each other before. And flirt, extend your light-hearted energy to others. At the bottom of the deck, we have wedding. This situation involves marriage. But again, I'm getting that as like a, a soul partnership. You terrify this person. Yeah, I knew that was coming. <laughs> they was telling me to get out this card. It was poking through and it's reconciliation. I could feel that energy. That's what we were seeing. Some of you could wear like hoop earrings. I'm seeing a lot of gold jewellery. I'm also getting pink. Um, oh, what's the what's the flowers that I'm thinking of? Peonies. I wish I could share my good news with you. I hid who I really am from you. 
and the timing just wasn't right for us, bottom of the deck. You speak to me through music, my life is not together as it seems, I wonder if you are happy without me, and I love you. You came closer than anyone. Okay. So we'll move on to pile two. <clears throat> that was a really sweet um, reading. Okay, so pile two was the little gold and pearl cherub. How did your person first feel when they met you? Seeing rose quartz, we have the ant cooperate for the highest good of the community. This is a meeting that's taken place at work. Okay, or you've worked with this person, your paths have crossed because of work. Even if you're not in the same job, like this could have even been a client for some of you. We have, elef I'm also hearing contractor, so you could have hired this person for something to do with a home. Um, we have elephant, open yourself to true abundance. Some of you could have children. And we have the eagle, seize opportunities courageously bottom of the deck we have the ladybird except happiness and good fortune if you haven't met at work then this person could just be very driven and very work oriented we have walking away it's something to do with animals like you or your person would literally love animals we have the seventh chakra of archangel uriel i'm hearing the book of mormon as well and we have the magician and the mirror. There could be an age gap between you and this person. We do also have broken heart at the bottom of the deck. This person loves when you wear the colour pink or loves when you wear vibrant colours. And I'm getting for some of you there could have there could be something here to do with like a you could come from different nationalities or religions. I'm seeing a really beautiful like cerise pink and gold sari. Um beautiful materials and just like really gorgeous extravagant colors and I feel like you and this person physically look like polar opposites but you're so attracted to each other it's almost like this is not someone you ever thought you'd be attracted to like they're not your usual type or they may feel this way about you but they just think that you are beautiful you stop this person in their tracks and I feel like when they first met you, literally it's like that deer in headlights energy of like, oh my God, he or she is so gorgeous. I feel like I shouldn't be looking at them, but I can't stop. Literally. There's something about jewellery coming through as well. Like you might have some really lovely jewellery that this person feels drawn to or a nice watch I'm getting if you're a man in particular or a woman, of course, but... This person finds you to be, um, I think this person actually thought that you were a little bit stuck up when they first met you. It's like, he or she is so gorgeous, they're never going to talk to someone like me. But it's funny because you were kind of looking at them with the same energy. There's just this instant, um, I was going to say chemical attraction. <laughs> so alchemy, manifesting I guess with the magician as well. I feel like you and this person kept catching eyes bef yeah look page of swords and knight of swords literally these two cards together literally looking at each other okay and i feel like i don't know there's just this tension like you could cut the tension with a knife like the sexual chemistry was off the charts this person felt like you were a drug like they felt addicted to you and they had no idea why um, and I'm getting for some of you, if this was in the workplace, like, you look up and this person's looking at you. Or you catch eyes when you're in a lift or when you're passing on the stairs. It's like you just kept being drawn to each other. And I just feel like there's this awkward, like, hi, bye. <laughs> Someone could wear, like, dark lipstick as well, I'm getting. 
and it looks really nice against the complexion of your skin or the colour red as well. Lots of reds, lots of pinks, lots of like sexy, passionate energy. But this person was just so scared to approach you because to be honest, they thought you were a bit of a bitch. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to put it out there like you might have like a bit of a an RBF or something but it's like they really 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 wanted to come towards you and I feel like for some of you who've got really long or really luscious beautiful hair and there's something about the way that your hair smells like you'll walk past them and they get a, like a scent of you and it's like oh my god he or she is amazing um I just see this person wanting to give to you and it's like I just keep feeling this awkward energy of like every time you would meet someone would like do something silly or you'd say you know like when someone says how's your day and you're like Merry Christmas like something completely awkward and just stupid because you get so nervous around each other I'm hearing like the cracks are starting to show so maybe you've started to kind of reveal your feelings to each other but this feels like a connection that kind of hasn't fully kicked off yet um, I'm hearing like roll the dice I was actually hearing roll the dice check it twice I don't know what that means it might mean something for someone but with the lovers card here it's like you're def definitely destined to meet whether that is I saw a quote and I put this in a personal reading I I'm not sure who it was for not that I would say it anyway <laughs> um, but I saw a quote the other day that I really liked and it was people are brought to us in our life for three reasons for one of three reasons they are either a home a holiday or hell <laughs> and there's like this very rebellious streak that is coming through between the two of you some of you could end up getting like matching tattoos you've got all this red and pink you both love to come across as like really cool and really aloof and like really uninterested when actually you're both like a bag of nerves around each other <laughs> You're so entangled in each other's energy. I feel like this person makes you really excited. But it's like you take turns in being the aloof one. It's like you're never on the same page. Like one minute someone is Mr or Mrs Cool. And then the next person is. And then it's like, well, why aren't they reacting to me? Well, it's because they think you're not interested. And then the, and then the roles switch. And then you do this to them. And they do this to you. 22, 22 as I look at the clock. So again mirroring energies. We have the three of cups. So there could be a third party involvement here. But I feel like you're not acting upon it. Like you know this person could be with someone. Potentially you're with someone as well. And it's like until that's done. I'm not coming near you. And I think this person knows that. They know you're attracted to them, but they also know that you're hiding because you're not going to bend your morals. You don't want to get involved in anything messy is what I'm hearing. Like, you're above that. They don't want to drag you into drama. We have got the Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. They really, really, really want to come towards you. And I feel like if this person was alone with you, they would probably sweep you off your feet and, to be honest, put you against a wall and call it a day. Like... Someone could um, wear red nails quite often as well. You could have tattoos on your hands or on your wrists. There's something coming through about bangles. This person could have like, they could be really into the outdoors, whether this is like hiking or working out. It's like part of their mindfulness is going for a walk, taking deep breaths breathing fresh air they're very connected to the earth element <clears throat> so they could be an earth sign we have the ten of cups okay so there could be like miraculous changes coming in the near future we've got the nine of swords just be careful because your thoughts are manifesting um i'm just hearing like take it slow take it slow i'm hearing um ordinary people by john legend like, you both put each other on a pedestal, but actually, you just need to take it slow. Cancer energy. Um, I'm seeing three. Like, they could, you could have a child with this person at some point, or one or both of you could already have children. We have the Nine of Cups. I definitely see you being in your feelings about waiting for this, and it's because you care so much about your person. 
there's a lot of impatience and you seem to think they're like entertaining everyone who's out there okay but I just feel like there's more to this person than meets the eye and they haven't shown you their full extent yet five of pentacles and the hermit you keep thinking this isn't going to happen but spirit is telling you to change your perspective and open up to new possibilities things can change as soon as you cut yourself free okay um let's see sunglasses could mean something to this connection and i'm getting like trees that look like weeping willows as well i don't know harry potter i just heard harry potter someone's name could be harry um we've got date meeting someone new dating get back out there plan or set a date We have photograph, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia and make new memories. So this person has like a pull towards you that just feels like comfort, feels like home, feels like they've known you before. We have healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. And we have broken heart here. So someone's needing to heal their heart. I feel like that's why you've been brought into each other's lives. Mirror, as I mentioned, mirroring each other. Self-image relationships reflect our wounds and introspection. This person wants to see you with your hair tied up if you have long hair. We have coffin, endings bring new beginnings, growth change, liberation and transition. We then have karmic relationship and I was picking up on third party energy for both of you to be honest. Um, but obviously that's not going to be for everyone. But we have fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. I'm getting that before you and this person come together, uh, third parties or obstacles need to be removed. Okay, as I said, this person knows they can't come towards you while they're in a relationship. I don't feel like you're going to entertain it. Okay, we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. We've got unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going, but I feel like that's your current situations. We have deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship, and as I mentioned, you both need to free yourself from what you're currently in. It's time to take back control of your life. Engagement, soulmate, express your love, call in your soulmate, give your relationship a chance. Children there as well, which I was picking up on. Okay, we have I love you. You came closer than anyone. I want to feel that way again. So it's almost like this person's got a taste of you. I wonder if you are happy without me and my life is not as together as it seems. Similar cards to part one, so you might have felt drawn to that one as well. But yeah, that's what I have for you, part two. So we'll go into part three. Okay, last up is part three, which was this little white or stone cherub. Let's see what's coming up for you, for how your person first viewed you when you first met. I almost get this sense that like you kind of didn't like each other, or you weren't sure of each other. We have the dog, be disciplined in your home and community life. We have the hyena, dare to be different. <laughs> Um, I'm hearing like this was misunderstood, this connection was misunderstood and we have the elephant, open yourself to true abundance, it's like as time has gone on you've both opened up or warmed to one another, there's this very like love-hate element here, we have the badger, bring your life into balance, hmm, okay. You can have a laugh with this person. They quite find you to be quite dry. There's like a teasing energy. Um, almost like they're a little bit mean to you. You know like how kids are in the playground. Like, oh, I'm going to be mean to that girl because I fancy her. That's kind of how it feels. I feel as though when you're in a room together, like other people can see the connection before you can or before you could. Maybe it's one of those things where like, if you had mutual friends, they'd say to you, oh, I was going to say the name Richard. So that might be for someone, but like so-and-so is really into you. And you'd be like, no way, like I think he's this or he's that or she's this and she's that. And then over time you're like, oh, actually, yeah, like they're quite attractive or maybe I do, you know. 
I always go off into like a little story. We have caring connection. So this could have been something that started off as friends. Or this person could have helped you with something or you could have helped them. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, I have feelings for this person. But I'm literally hearing it like that. We have the angel of strength. So it seems as though this hasn't been the easiest connection to navigate. And I say that as we have storm warning on the bottom of the deck. This person sees you as a force to be reckoned with. Red hair could be significant. Butterflies could also be significant. This person sees you. They love how you put yourself together. They love the way that you dress. They see you as someone who is quite successful. Um, they may have also seen you as a bit of a... There's like this prankster energy. Like This person could think you're a little bit fiery and like... Um, I'm hearing like this person may have thought that you were a bit of a liability or like that you was going to get them into trouble or you may have felt this way about them so I feel like they tried to turn a blind eye to you they tried to walk away from you they tried their hardest to not be interested interested sorry I feel like there's a little bit of a game playing energy here there's like there's like a cat and mouse that's what I'm looking for and it's almost like you'd play games with each other, but then be sad when this person actually left or when this person actually went quiet on you. <laughs> There's definitely like a push-pull energy here. And I really think this started off as something that was quite harmless or something that you had no, de no idea had developed until you had this like epiphany moment of like, like I said earlier, like shit, I have feelings for this person. I'm just hearing I want them. You found your thoughts kept going back to them. Or they felt this way towards you. Strong Taurus and Scorpio energy. Capricorn energy. You bow down to this person. It's almost like you become submissive for this person. I don't feel like you are submissive by nature. Someone could have like a beauty spot above their lip. Or somewhere significant. Libra energy with the Queen of Swords. This person found you to be a little bit standoffish. Okay. Um, but it's funny. It's like they've seen a different... This person could have seen you with like how you handle your friends or how you handle your family. Uh, something coming through again about animals, which also came through in Pile 2. But it's like they saw a different side to you and they see how much you care for others and how much you do for others. This person sees you as like a little sunbeam. Sunflowers could be significant. They feel like you have everything that you need though. I just heard like she's smoking hot. Like I literally just heard that in a man's voice. She's smoking hot. You could be covered in freckles as well. And I feel like for some of you you're really embarrassed of your freckles. But it's part of you that this person loves. Especially if they've seen them in like secret places. Or maybe this is what they think about. But I just feel like you are on this person's mind all the time. I'm hearing that you keep them on their toes. There's an unpredictability about you. And that's something that drew them in. Okay. They felt like they had to protect themselves against you. Like your energy, your aura is very strong. Very much like a temptress energy. And I just heard like beautiful figure. Someone's got a beautiful figure. Well, all of you have got beautiful figures, but that's what I'm hearing. Like, this person is so drawn to the way that you dress. Some of you could like sort of 70s fashion as well. Like, I'm seeing a lot of mustard colours, a lot of, like, burnt orange. There's definitely, like, a cheeky side that this person sees. There's even something to do with, like, winking or... Yeah, look, we literally have the Wheel of Fortune with the Playboy Bunny here. So it's like, you, you've definitely got that spiciness to you. I feel like you make this person drool. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> their first impression of you was more about how you look. Because I don't think they initially looked at you as a romantic endeavour, for whatever reason. Like, you just, I just feel like neither of you were looking for that. 
again I feel like you went towards this person for help or they came towards you for help like your paths have crossed for a reason this isn't like oh we're gonna go on a date and see where it goes it feels like you was not expecting to find find love or find romance and then boom like there it is I'm literally hearing that song like whoop there it is <laughs> Yeah, this person just finds themselves constantly being stuck thinking about you. I'm feeling very conflicted. They can't work you out. They really had a difficult time understanding who you are or the type of person that you are. Like, as I said earlier, you really keep them on their toes. And I'm getting this energy of, like, they wish there'd been, like, a fly on the wall to watch you. <laughs> There's definitely always been a physical attraction, but I feel like the mental connection came later, the more you got to know each other. And I'm getting like a side eye, there's a certain way that you look at this person that like, whoo, gets the blood rushing if you know what I mean. They feel like you were destined to meet. There could be something to do with bikes here, like motorbikes feel like you're dealing with a runner though, like someone who runs from this connection for whatever reason, they could be tied up elsewhere. I just realised I've been sitting like this whole portion three of like really tense and really, there could be something to do with someone's back. This person could be like a doctor or I feel like they've, sh like they've straightened you out or I don't know. Maybe you went to this person for a procedure or for some sort of medical treatment. I don't, I don't know. King of Swords, King of Cups. Oh, okay, so maybe you were already committed or maybe you had... Oh, you were in your masculine energy when you met this person. Regardless of whether you're female or male, you were in your masculine energy. So it's like, this is why there's that bashing of energies. It's like you're both trying to dominate the energy in a room and I feel like there's people around you that are watching this like a tennis match, like watching you bounce off of each other. <clears throat> yeah, I definitely feel as though this has been a connection that's been made for a workplace, which again came up for Pile B. But it's definitely come out of the blue. I'm hearing a bolt from the blue. You knocked this person for six, like... They did not see you coming. You didn't see them coming either. Very strong Capricorn energy. I'm feeling someone grabbing my arm, like grabbing the top of my arm. And again, for some of you, this could have been a connection where you started off as friends and then there was a bit of flirting and then things progressed. But I don't feel like there's been a revealing of emotions just yet. I do feel like the feelings are mutual though, six of cups, six of pentacles and the four of wands, feelings are definitely mutual, could be dealing with an earth sign. You just want to know what's going on with this person, I feel like you're quite, um, like you could be having, obviously you're here reading tarot, but you could have had a lot of readings done on them, trying to see what's going on within their life, like I'm hearing this person is a closed book, but so are you. There's both, there's a, there's like a mutual mystery that you both share someone could have a lot of tattoos as well just had boots i don't know what that means like whether that's shoes or the shop i don't know um we have palm tree stability security permanence growth endurance and flexibility someone could be from the islands as well you could have met this person on holiday you could have been on holiday together as friends Scorpio energy again with the coffin, endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. The Grim Reaper, the relationship is over, no second chances, grow and transform your life. Why is that here? Okay. <laughs> Ascending and not enough. So if this person is tied up, I feel like a relationship is ending for them to potentially be free. I don't feel like they're going to come rushing towards you, but they could be becoming single soon. I'm also getting with the Grim Reaper, you could have sparked an awakening in this person. You could literally be waking them up from, I don't want to say waking them up from the dead, but that's what I'm being told. 
We have Tolkien interested conversing more, awaited message arrives, text call, email, hoovering. Oh, I didn't read the ascending. Transcending obstacles, learning expansion, new phase, preparing for union. And then we have not enough, frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear or ego issues and jealousy. We have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. This is what I said. The more you got to know each other on a friend level, you grew closer. We have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. We have worth waiting for. Divine time is at work in your love life. I want to get a card for this unrequited love. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. You feel like it's unrequited because you haven't had the chance to get close enough yet. You need to get to know each other first because I feel like you're both thinking, oh, he or, like, oh, I said it at the beginning, oh, he or she isn't looking at me in that way, like it's one-sided, it's this, it's that. We do have wedding, this situation involves marriage, so it could be a possibility there as well. I want to give these a really good shuffle. We have I want you and I replay our conversations over and over. You were the best thing in my life. Someone's scared to mess up a good thing is what I'm hearing. Mess up a good friendship. You and I were too young. So maybe you've known this person for quite a long time. You came closer than anyone, and I remember every detail of that day. In all three piles, we have my life is not as together as it seems. That's come up for everyone. So, yeah, there's a theme. But that's what I have for you guys. I hope you all enjoyed. hope it gave you the clarity that you were looking for. And remember, if you'd like to book a personal reading or follow me on socials, all of that information will be linked down below hope you have a lovely weekend lots of love Mwah. bye